Yeah. Yeah. I ain't talking about rebuke, man. Talking about rebuke. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Running. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you. <laughs> <laughs> you got one. <laughs> we got one on the gun line, ball. <laughs> I'll tell you, I got a little, I love my glass. <laughs> okay. Huh? Uh, stay out your feelings. Stay out your feelings. So we're going to have to start, I'm saying this is this going to have to happen, man. It's going to have to happen. We're going to have to start throwing daggers at each other. We're going to have to start rebuking each other. You know what I'm saying? For the thing to get tightened up, for it to, for it to get a little sharper. For it to grow, you know what I'm saying, and you know what I'm saying, it gotta come with. We're gonna see throughout this class, man, that it gotta come with us being around each other, us being familiar with each other, because it's gonna be hard to cut somebody, hard to rebuke somebody, and hard for somebody to take a rebuke that 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 you don't have that that relationship with, that you ain't, you know what I'm saying, you ain't you ain't building with, you don't know them, you don't know when to rebuke them. There's certain spots, you know what I'm saying, you gotta be you gotta be you gotta be precise. You gotta be precise, man, because you can chin check them and then knock them out, and then they out of them. They gone, and they feeling forever. And you see that? You see that? Forever and ever. <laughs> you see, man? Yo, get chin check and be in their feelings forever. Can never get back. Stagger, wobbling legs throughout the rest of their journey, man. All right, Leviticus nineteen seventeen. We already know that's that's this one of the classics. We're gonna go to this anytime we talking about rebuke. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart, thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So you gotta rebuke your neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. You see your neighbor in sin, you are to rebuke your neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. This is brotherly love. So if we ain't rebuking, how much do we love you? We say we love each other. Right. But if we ain't rebuking, then how much are we loving each other? Right. Unless we all straight, everybody straight, everybody 100, we perfect. Mm -hmm. Or we still working. We still working, then we still need to be rebuked. And we got to confess too, you know what I'm saying? Because if, if you can't take the rebuke, go ahead and, take, go ahead and get the confession out. Because if somebody catch you with it, then they got to be, you know what I'm saying? You got to be rebuked. Do you have a chin for the rebuke? <laughs> Do you got the chin? Do you got the chin for it, man? You see them a lot of times, them, them boxing mechanics, uh, what's that, Team Mayweather? What do you call this group? TMT? Yeah, man, you going TMT. They got sometimes they're going to stand you on the wall and just check that chin. Then just check that chin, see that chin straight. Don't fight back, just check the chin. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, <laughs> Wait, y'all didn't do that? Y'all ain't just, just, just. Go ahead. They used to have me practice my defense, no offense, just straight defense. And we would be getting hit, of course, because we ain't throwing no punches. Right. We just blocking. But just to sit there and get punched in the chin. They just sit there lined up. Nah, that's how you break somebody. That's how, but see, they they thinking that's how you build your chin. That's how you make your chin stronger to take a punch. That's Mayweather, man. I tell you, that's money, man. That's money. That's, that's the money team. Um, Proverbs chapter thirty three. So gonna deal with humility, man, because humility is what's gonna give you that chin, man. Humility is your chin. If you humble enough to take that, take that, take that, take that chin check, our pride is what's gonna. Make us, you know what I'm saying, bounce back and be like, nah, man, you ain't finna talk to me like that. You ain't finna, nah. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, you ain't finna talk to me like that. So, your humility, do you have enough? Are you humbled enough? Are you meek enough to take correction from a brother, from somebody younger than you? From somebody that ain't been in the walk as long as you've been in the walk? From somebody who just got here? <laughs> from somebody from somebody online that don't even know you. 
You know what I'm saying? Do you have the humility, man? And I and, and like we had a dude get on. He's because I said Christ. Yeah, GMS hit the uh hit one of the uh videos I think I did on Prince of Power. And then you know what I'm saying? I pretty much I was showing them, hey man, you know we, we you know we teaching the people. I wanted to go into man, we teaching the people, the people out here. This ain't just for Israel. You know what I'm saying? Call lawyer, how about him? Y'all shot rock stuff. Like we teach that stuff. You know what I'm saying? In school, we ain't just going with Christ. We know that ain't the name. Da, 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 da. Instead of going down that long trail, because I did first, I told him to check his spirit. But then he just kept going. I seen that if I would have just kept on with him, it just would have been a long striving. It would have been never ended. So I said, you know what? Ah, you right. You right. But I would love for you to teach more with the wisdom you have. I want to see you teach more people, teach more of us out here, do more videos for us out here. And just let it go. They call me nothing. You know what I'm saying? They call me nothing, but my but my flesh wanted to say, What? <laughs> 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 well, you ain't got no videos up. Well, y'all ain't, you ain't out here on the street teaching, but you need to, you need to humble down. All right, all right. <laughs> But instead of going that route and then everybody seeing that whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they never stop. And then you got to know the spirit of GMS. They never stop. Yeah. They ain't never feel the enemy with Right. You done, uh, so, instead of you getting a brother, I think I got that in here. Yeah, instead of getting That's in that infamous uh, Matthew 18, and we're going to deal with that too. Uh, Proverbs, so when we talk about the humility, Proverbs 13, 15, 33, Shalaki. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, uh -huh. and before honor is humility. So the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility, man. Before you can be brought up, before you can be that, that, that and, and, and be that great leader or that great soldier, they got to have humility. All right. And the fear of the Lord is the, is in, is the, is the instructions of wisdom. We're going to see, too, in the formula of how to, we're going to have a formula, equation on how to turn a scorner into somebody who's, who's wise. Um, Sirach chapter 2, verse 17, we're just dealing with humility. They that fear the Lord will repair their hearts and, the hu and humble their souls in his sight. So they that fear the Lord will repair their hearts and humble their souls in that sight. We know it all starts with the fear of the Lord. Keep going on that, verse 18. 18, saying, we will fall in the hands of the Lord and not in the hands of men, uh -huh. as for as his for and majesty, shall majesty I? is so. So his mercy, mercy come. I mean that second uh second uh chronicles. chronicles. Yeah, that's Sorry. the answer. Right, and just slow down because I know I, I got cut. Somebody rebuked me about uh, teaching the class too fast. So let everybody say come when they get there. They trying to get there. Let them say come, and then. Yeah. <laughs> Come. 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 Go ahead. Uh. The book is, Don't get in your feelings. Here, nah, here, right? <laughs> <laughs> second uh, Chronicles seven fourteen. The book is Second Chronicles seven fourteen, and my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. Shall humble pray. themselves. That's the bit. That's the beginning of. It. If you humble yourselves, come on. And seek my face. Uh -huh. And turn from their wicked ways. <laughs> then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin. Uh -huh. And will heal their land. And will heal their land, man. So it all starts with that humility. That humility is going to build up that chin so you can be able to take that rebuke, so you can take that correction. Um, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Say calm when y'all there. So we'll understand, we'll understand what this scripture, why we had these scriptures. And it's going to build you up too, with the cat one-on-one, -on -one, and it's going to build you up to make you sharper with your sword, man. Go ahead and get into these scriptures, and build up, just get sharper with your sword while you even, while you're in the class, so you can find the scriptures and you ain't, you ain't going to that index. You know what I'm saying? When you hit that index, you gotta you gotta cut yourself and know that you fail. When you hit the index, you on camp and you're scribing and you had to hit the index, you gotta you gotta cut yourself and say, you know what, I gotta do better. I gotta do better. Matter of fact, count how many times you hit the index and turn it in. 
<laughs> you ain't striving though. All you know is get up there and scribe. But you ain't striving. <laughs> No, nah, but no, nah, but 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 take a note, man. Take a mental note, you know what I'm saying, on yourself, and then just do better, man. Just try to get that down. Just try to take that down. You know, say, hey, you know what? I hit the index five times last camp. Go to the next week, be like, you know what? I only had to hit the index three times. Go on to the next week, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta keep, you gotta keep, you gotta keep record, man. Keep a record of your progress and how you moving within the scriptures, man. <clears throat> Like I had lost, man. I've been thinking I've been in this thing six, seven years, man. And I got a, got a darn, one of them Facebook memories popped up. I ain't, when I had bought, got my sewing machine, that was three years ago. I really ain't been in this thing about three years, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you got to keep progress. I, I, but if you would have, if you would have asked me two weeks from, 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 from that time, I would have told you I've been in this truth by seven years. <laughs> <laughs> and in it, man. Yeah. It yeah. yeah, was some confirmation in that video, too, man. I don't know if y'all seen that video, but I think I put the whole thing on Facebook. But I said, I got the sewing machine. It was the first time I got the sewing machine. And I said, in the video, I was like, shoot, man, I'm about to be wearing fringes every day. I ain't paying them country boy nothing. Might even be selling shirts. I said, boy, well, that crazy. But you just got to you know what I'm saying. Sometimes too, man, get take record, man. Because sometimes you give yourself, you know what I'm saying, some confirmation being that thing, and then you understand that the more high actually dealing with you, that he would deal. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, um, oh, yeah, Second Timothy three. Second Timothy chapter three, verse sixteen. This is a classic. Everybody should know this one anyway. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God uh -huh. and is profitable for doctrine. So anytime somebody tries to come up to the camp, talking about some you, well, you know, you know, who wrote it though? Who wrote the book? But all scripture, what? All scripture is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for re correction. And say all all scripture is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, and what? For correction. For correction, for what? For instruction in righteousness. And for instructions in righteousness, man. So the rebuke, the correction, man, is is, is all, it's just all in scripture. That's what the scriptures are for. Mm -hmm. And that's what we out there to do. But not just not just the streets, not just people, not just our family. We also gotta correct ourselves. We also gotta correct our brothers, especially the ones that are closest to us. Uh second Timothy chapter four, verse two. One, one, one page over should be on might be on the same page with some of y'all. Uh, four, four, four verse two. Was it second September chapter four verse two? Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. You say be instant in season and out of season. Come on. Reproof. Re do what? Reproof. Reproof. Rebuke. Rebuke. Exhort with all long suffering. And resort with all the cut because we're proofing and rebuke. It's a two edged sword. It, it, it comes with long suffering. You know what I'm saying? Even even rebuking, even you correcting your brother, it still come with long suffering because he's still going to look at you a certain way. I don't care what a chin like. I don't care how much humility he got. He's still going to look at you a certain way. you still going to know he's dealing with You know what I'm saying? So it's a two edged sword. You want to see your brother do better? You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to, it ain't really. A lot of times, you know, 90% of the times, it ain't going to be where we both walk away from this thing and we ain't, you know what I'm saying, we ain't emotionally, you know, disturbed, you know what I'm saying, whether it be you feel like I shouldn't have said it to you or you, you disappointed in yourself that I called it, that, 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 that a brother had to check you about it, or, you know what I'm saying, a brother had to check you about it, you know what I'm saying, we, uh, the brother was in here last week, you know, we all family, brother in here last week. Said, you know what I'm saying? Well, I, we was talking about camping, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was getting a little out of this, you know. We were talking about even that, that situation for the video when it came up. How I might have, you know what I'm saying? How I could have got a been, you know, kind of could have been a little more organized and had a couple situations. And we had brought up some old situations that we had at separate camps. Remember that one time when we was at Edge when I had brought out, we can't have separate camps. I think I did, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. can't have all these different separate camps. Brothers teaching people, running with, you know what I'm saying? Right. Your job, bring them to the speaker. Bring it to that person that's teaching. You know what I'm saying? You have all those separate camps. You got three, four different separate conversations going on. And then, you know what I'm saying? You can't even hear yourself edifying the person that's in, in, in front of you. 
special, but we was we was talking about that. And uh, he was saying, man, I was gonna see something, but I ain't wanna, I ain't wanna produce the situation because he didn't want, he did because he didn't want to suffer. He didn't want, he didn't want to get the black lash. Get that dog. You I hit you last night. Nah, that wasn't no cut. That wasn't no cut. That wasn't no rebuke. Um, well, did we finish that up? Yeah, we got you. Yeah, All right, man. The infamous Matthew 18. You know what I'm saying? Anytime the rebuke comes, a lot of time, brothers, gonna, they going to go to the Matthew 18. This is how it's supposed to be done. The thing about, my, my thing with the Matthew 18 is, is, is in the f very first sentence. It's in the very first sentence. Uh, say calm when y'all done. Calm. The book of Matthew chapter 18, verse 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, uh -huh. no one tell him his fault so, between thee. So, him. for me right there, the Matthew 18 is, is talking about a one-on-one -on -one personal fault that you don't cross me. That you don't cross me, you don't cross me personally. Whether you did something, so you know what I'm saying, you might have did something, you might have crossed me, you might have took some money from me, you might have stole some, you might have, you might have, you might have been looking at my wife too long or something. But it's a one-on-one -on -one personal. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't you in sin, and a brother caught you. You know what I'm saying, a brother done caught you smoking, or a brother done, you know what I'm saying, you know caught you caught you trespassing the law. You know what I'm saying. This is made for a. a, a I trespassed against you, or you trust not you trespassing against yourself. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna see that there's certain steps here that's once somebody trespasses against you, how to take that, you know what I'm saying, take that to the elders, how to take that first have that one on one with them. But it's it's when we trespass, when we going out there on the street, so when we going out there and we catch your brother doing something, it ain't gotta be that. We ain't gotta take it to that. Because it ain't a one on one. You're not hurting me. You're hurting yourself. You know what I'm saying? You trespassing against yourself. You you sinning amongst yourself. It ain't a it ain't a sin against me. You ain't done nothing to hurt me. You see what I'm saying? I'm just trying to save you from yourself. But sometimes they may not even be with that. If I'm like if you crossing the street and you are caught about to hit you, you see what I'm saying? I ain't got time. I mean, I had time to pull you over in the one on one. You know what I'm saying? I might be driving by and catch you with the you know what I'm saying with the with the review. Or you may be driving by and see me. You might be driving by see me in the red light district. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know why you over there, but you know what I'm saying? We both. <laughs> 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 right. But you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's a place. It's a place for open review, and there's a place for for the for the one on one review, right? And a lot of times in Israel, we get them we get them twisted up. You know what I'm saying. Um, go ahead and keep going on. Verse 16. Uh, Shalaki. Verse 16. Moreover, thou brother shall trespass against thee. Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. Uh -huh. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. And if he hear thee, you have gained a brother. Come on. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word shall be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them tell it to the church mm -hmm. but if he neglect to hear the church let him be unto unto thee as a heathen man and a publican mm -hmm. verily I say unto you whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that you shall ask it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. But where two or three are gathered together in my name, there are, uh, I am I in the midst of them. And so like it, I say, we, we do the one-on-one. -on -one. If, that don't, if that don't work, you're good to, to two, more, two or more witnesses. I had a, we had a situation here, we had to get two, two or more witnesses over, somebody thought I crossed them over some bags. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> So we had to have a, we had to have a, because I, that was a personal, 
thing, and it, and it really wasn't even, you know, it was a it was a personal thing. It was between me, me and her, right? So she wanted to she wanted to have counsel, wanted to get brothers to show, you know, what I'm saying. Then she accepted the counsel and apologized. Get that though. Up. Accepted the counsel and apologized. And then you also had an incident where, you know, I had did that one video. Ah, well, one end, you know, y'all had brothers to say, man, that was the greatest video you ever did, man. I'm, man. And then on the other end, you know, brothers took it personal. Even though no names were mentioned in the video, brothers took that video personal and. It was pretty much just an open. It was just an open rebuke, and it wasn't necessarily. It wasn't necessarily dealing with nobody in particular, but it was certain, certain things that brother just took took to the heart. It didn't have a chin. Didn't have a chin to take the rebuke, and you know what I'm saying. They still, they still salty. They're still, you know, they still salty. They may walk in here. They may come in here and sit down, but they still a little. They still a little salty. You know what I'm saying. But um, and those just instances, and then and even in that instance, brothers thought that I should have did, uh, I should have, I should have went to the eighteen five. But if I'm saying, you know, what I'm saying, you know, brothers got to stop smoking. I don't have to go to the like, I'm not directly. That's not a personal offense towards anybody. If I say brothers need to stop smoking, I gotta say brothers done spent more money at the at the liquor store next door than they done gave arms at the school. That ain't, I ain't personally pointing out nobody. You just getting cut. The rebuke just cut you. I don't have to go to an 18 5 for that. Like, that, that's not a personal. You killing, you, you hurting yourself. Right. right. You hurting yourself. I'm trying to get you, I'm trying to kill you from yourself. Um, so you have to just know the differences in the, in the situations. And if you feel a brother, if you feel a brother did, you know what I'm saying, trespass against you, you go to that brother and let him know it's a two way. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a two way. So if even if, if if you or if you felt like the rebuke, if you felt like the the open rebuke wasn't you know what I'm saying necessary. And that was the thing too that those brothers didn't want to talk, didn't want to come and, and address it one on one. They didn't want to come and speak on. It. All right, they just wanted to go and go crazy in the in the in the chat in the chat room. I know a lot of brothers, a lot of brothers seen. I know you was you was there when you there when when they were going crazy in the chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was going crazy in the chat. So, yeah, you're yeah, right, right. But I ignored it. You know what I'm saying? And I just humility. And I just told him, then just come to the school, man. We talk about it. And I called him. You know what I'm saying? And I called him. And I reached out. But it really wasn't. They were just. It really wasn't. You know what I'm saying? It really wasn't something that they wanted to resolve. They wanted out, and they just needed a way out. And they took that and just. You know what I'm saying? But it was what it was. Everybody can't go to certain. Once you go to certain levels, certain dimensions, everybody can't come. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's got to be a break in the way. Um, keep going. Where you was at? Uh, uh verse twenty one. Yeah. Yeah. Verse twenty one. Then came Peter to him and said, "Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive them? Uh -huh. Till seven times? Uh -huh. And I shot said it to them, to him. I say not unto thee." Until, until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Mm. Therefore, it's the kingdom of heaven like it unto a certain king, which would take account of his servants. And when he no, had that's all I want. That's all I want. And so that 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 forgiving your brother 70, 70, 70 times seventy times seventy seven times seventy. And we're gonna see it in another. Uh, I think it's in Luke two. We're gonna look at it in the Luke two where, where he said, "Your father increased my faith." Because this is a hard task to, you know what I'm saying, to keep forgiving your brother. You know what I'm saying? Even sometimes you may not even, like I'm saying, just to squash certain things. As I say, with the, with the old brother came on the GMS and tried to, we talking about a brother came on the GM on our page. I did like a quick lesson. Sometimes on, on, our, on our Instagram, stuff like that, I put like two minute, three minute little quick lessons. And because I said Christ, he went in there and we, we wanted to go through a whole spiel. You know what I'm saying? Now y'all know we use, you know what I'm saying, your house. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't finna take them there because I know if I took them there, it was gonna be a whole spiel. So initially I told them, you know, check your spirit. Check your spirit first. Try to give him a time. And then he was still 
because of that spirit, you know, GMS just, just carry a spirit. He couldn't check it. He couldn't check it. So it continued on. And then even when I do the call, hold on, y'all, about some y'all start putting None of that, you know what I'm saying? None of that really meant you still use Christ. Really. And then, so at this point, I'm saying, hey, brother, you right. You right. You are right, sir. We just, I would just love for you to do more videos with your wisdom and teach our people more and go out on the streets and teach more. And then just let it go because it's ain't, it's, you know what I'm saying? You're going to strive about with many words. You're going to go into a war of words. It's going to go on forever. And then every video you put up, he finna come, you know what I'm saying? Then you gotta block him. Then you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, just sometimes thing. just let it, just, just let it go. So you know what I'm saying? Video they put up about and then it be, yeah, that'd be the first day. So then he put up, because we rebuked him. He put up, because now he blocked him. You know what I'm saying? Prince Power, just weak, weak organization. The wicked flee. The wicked flee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? We wanna, you know, just let things go, man. A lot of times it ain't worth it, man. That's and like I say, that was my 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 flesh wanted to go in and say, ah, man, you really ain't. I don't see you. I don't see your fruits. You know, that's what my flesh wanted to do. My flesh wanted to go ahead and, and do that battle with them. But I had to. I had to even check myself and start going in. I was like, well, but I know I sent the text. But once I sent the text, uh, I sent the comment back. But what's Joshua's name? I knew I had went too far. I knew my flesh got the best of me. I went too far, and uh, I just had to pull out of it. But um, can't be no hypocrite. We talking about rebuke. It was because day class just talking about rebuke. Uh, Matthew can't be no hypocrite. So when you do all gonna rebuke somebody, you can't be you can't be doing the same thing. You can't be out there on the street corners telling people to put the weed down, put the cigarette down, and then you defiling your temple. You can't do it. You know what I'm saying? You can't go check. And then when you try to check somebody on it. <coughs> And, and like you ain't gonna do that anyway. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times you ain't gonna check your brother. Y'all been smoking together anyway. You ain't finna check him on that. You know what I'm saying? But on something else, you might try to check him on. He gonna look at you crazy because bro, we just smoked together. <laughs> we were just smoking before we got here. Right? Don't do that, man. Let me to the side. Right? Don't do that. Let me eat the BLT. Let me eat the BLT. It's defiling the temple. Oh, we just smoked on the way here. <laughs> Try to check me about that bacon sandwich, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So we don't want to be no hypocrite. We don't want to be no hypocrite. And then we got to make sure we get that that, that beam out of our own now. Uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 3. Say, come. Matthew 7, verse Matthew chapter 7 verse 3 and one and, and why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye but considerest not the being that is in thy own eye how wilt thou say to thy brother let me pull out the mote out of thy eye and behold a beam is in thy own eye mm -hmm. thy hypocrite first cast out the beam out of thy own eye then thou shalt see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye you know, so you gotta you gotta make sure that you're not being a hypocrite, man. You gotta be, brother wanted to do a class on discipline. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, and that's how it made me start even doing the going into the camp 101, and then now we're doing a class on review. Is that I had a brother come to me and say he wanted to do a class on discipline, but then the brother not coming to class, then the brother not being coming to camp late. So you can't be that person. You don't want to do that. And see, and then that's why he don't want to police. And that's why you don't want to say nothing. You know what I'm saying? If you do see something wrong, if you in the wrong, is that and that's why you gotta make sure you, you know what I'm saying, you're doing everything decently in order because you may see something that need to be said, but you gonna say it because you've been in the wrong with so many other things and you know people gonna come at you, you know what I'm saying? As soon as you say it, somebody gonna cut you back like Man, you crazy? Man, you just got the camp. We've been at camp an hour, hour and a half. You just got here, and you want to tell us? You want to tell us? You know what I'm saying? We need to, we need to get a little more organized. We need more ice. We chill out. Not that it shouldn't be said. It's just you're not the one to say it because 
you haven't got yourself in order. And then it hurts. It hurts everybody because it need to be said. Somebody need to see it. You may be the only one that see it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Romans chapter two, verse one. With the Romans chapter two, verse one. Just say calm when you're there. Romans chapter 2 verse 1 Therefore thou art inexcusable O man whatsoever thou art thou art thy judges for wherein thou judges another thou condemnest thyself for thou judges doest the same things. So thou that judges do the same thing you like again you just don't want to be a hypocrite in no situation because they're going to say something back. They ain't going to just they ain't going to just take it unless they got a, a good chin. If they got a good chin filled with humility they can take that cut, but if they if they not, a little meekness. Uh, yeah, they got a yeah, they got a chin full of meekness. They can take it and <laughs> and eat it, but more nine times out of ten, they gonna say something bad to you if you doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? All, right, all reproof is not calmly. You know what I'm saying? Certainly, like I say you got if, if when you chin checking, it's certain ways you gotta do it. You can't just and that's why you gotta serious listen. That's why we got to know each other. That's why we got to be around each other. That's why we got to build with each other. That's why we got to understand each other so we can understand the certain times to rebuke. You know what I'm saying? Certain times to pull somebody to the side or certain times where you can get inside and open it. Because sometimes you can say something, you know what I'm saying? And then, they, you know, some people don't take it. Some people don't take it. You know what I'm saying? You take, you do something in front of, you know, from folks, family and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? That ain't a good time to do that. You know what I'm saying? You're in front of kids and wife, you know what I'm saying, it ain't, uh, it ain't a good time to do that, you know what I'm saying, so you just got to understand people, understand each other, and that's why it's important that we gather ourselves together, it's important that we just not come into camp, and you know what I'm saying, we're not building that personal relationships with each other, so we can, so we can correct each other, so we can take the correction from each other, uh, Sirach chapter 11, verse 7, the book of Sirach, 11 verse 7 blame not before thou has examined the truth and we got to too make sure that we that we don't we don't send the rebuke before we understand brothers may be actually going through something brothers may have to you know they might have certain situations you know you may sit up there and cut a brother for not for not being on time and then uh he just he just left the mercy room you know what i'm saying so you just want to examine something examine the truth before you actually go out there and start you know slicing you know what I'm saying? Or get to the, you know what I'm saying? Because a brother may have some kind of sickness, just like uh, Shafar. He a little autistic. I don't I don't put him in the same category as everybody else. You know what I'm saying? He get there, he calls, say, hey, man, you know, what time can Yeah. He gonna pull up, though. He gonna pull up. He gonna pull up. But, you know. Sirach so chapter 20. Did we finish that? No. Come. Understand first, then rebuke. Understand first, then rebuke. Like I say, you know what I'm saying? You just don't understand. You know, it could be a certain situation. You know what I'm saying? So understand first, then send out the rebuke. Come on. That's a not before thou hast heard the cause. Uh -huh. Neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. And neither interrupt the man in the midst of his talk. Come on. Strive not in a matter that, con that concerneth not thee not. Mm -hmm. And sit not in the in in the, in the judgment with sinners. Uh, sit not in the judgment of the sinners. And don't meddle in a lot of matters that don't concern you. It ain't concerning. It ain't concerning us. It ain't concerning Prince Power. You know what I'm saying? We don't really need to be need to be meddling in it or going back and forth with anybody else about it. You know what I'm saying? That's what, actually one of the commandments with our do the convergence camps. We we gave that out too, man. I'm gonna print some out and then just hand them to y'all so you can just you know what I'm saying? Y'all can look over there. Um, Sirach so twenty verse one. Time. There is a reproof that is not come. Just wait. Just wait to to brother say come. Right. Take the cut. Say, brother, say I was going through the class too fast. I got you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I can't do it. Take the cut. I might make sure you do that thing. You know what I'm saying? So you go slow it down. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you know what I'm saying. It's being, it's, it's edifying. The book of Sirach, chapter twenty, verse one. There's a repute that is not reproof that is not common. Uh -huh. Again, some men hold his tongue, 
and he is wise. Some man hold of his tongue and he is wise. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes it just ain't the right, the right circumstances to rebuke somebody. In in certain situations, you gotta be you gotta be a judgment. You gotta you gotta be able to judge the situations. And like I say we gotta be able we got we gotta build those relationships amongst each other so we'll know the times to do that. So we'll know the time that hey you know what you know got a little high headed. Maybe you need to just calm down a little minute. We'll speak on it another time. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we don't let those situations. We're not building amongst each other. We're not letting those situations ever come. And we're not correcting each other. We're just letting the things, you know what I'm saying? Just letting things just happen. Just letting things flow. You know what I'm saying? And if you wanted to be a well oil machine, you know what I'm saying? Some, some bolts got to be tightened. You know what I'm saying? Some, some things got to be lubed up. Some correction got to be made. Some adjustments got to be made. Keep going on. Verse two, it is much better to it, was, it is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly. And then it's much better to reprove than to be angry secretly, man. Than to be out there, you know what I'm saying, mad secretly. And I went back and I told brothers, I called brothers, I was like, hey man, you know, listen, bro, you know whatever you said about me, man, this is totally forgive me. It didn't, didn't bother me at the least bit, but I don't want you. I don't want you to be looking at our videos. Or to look at us and then have any kind of you don't want that to control you because if it does then it's it's, it's controlling you. it has it's controlling your temperament so i don't want you looking at anything that we doing or anything that we post and that you be you i don't want you still salty about it you know what i'm saying and that the doors the doors are still open so you know what i'm saying you don't want that you don't want that to reproof to make you angry secretly and if and if you still salty, if you super salty, go back to the to the person, man. Maybe you, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe that rebuke was a little too strong, you know what I'm saying? So you can get a better understanding of you. Like maybe you know what I'm saying? I ain't got the humility yet. I ain't built up my my humbleness yet to get chin check like that. Y'all gonna knock me out? Huh? You broke my jaw. You broke my jaw. And I might not have the humility to to, to take it like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to come at me a little different. You know what I'm saying? And then give you know, I say, hey man, you know what I'm saying? Do it to me like this. You know what I'm saying? Like check me like this. Like hit me, you know what I'm saying? Hit me in the shoulder, you know what I'm saying? Don't just straight chin check. Right. Um keep going on. And he that confesseth his fault shall be pre pre preserved. Preserved from hurt. And that's another thing too. That's why the, the confession, if you can't take the chin check, then go ahead and make the confession, man. It's better to go ahead and make the confession and, and get it out like that than somebody actually, you know what I'm saying, finding it, somebody actually smelling it on you, or somebody actually, somebody actually bringing it up and coming to, to, to a brother's attention, you know what I'm saying, or, or sister coming up saying, you know, this brother doing this and this and this and this, you know what I'm saying. It's better to go ahead and bring out the confession and get the counsel than to actually, especially if you can't take it, you know you can't take it on the chin, you know you're not a person that... You know, you ain't got that humility in you. You're going to say something back a lot of times. Go ahead and confess the fault. And get the counsel. Like, bro, I'm sick, y'all. I'm sick. You know what I'm saying? I just, I need, I'm in that red light district. I got to, you know what I'm saying? I'm calling to a week. I need some help. You know what I'm saying? I need some help. Instead of doing it like that, and then that's, you, you can save yourself from some hurt. My brothers actually sit up there and catch you out there. And be like, bro, you keep listening. You got you gotta get away from us, man. You got you around here. You got you, you prostitutes, you smoking hair on, you know, you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna see that. So confess your faults, man, so you can get so you can get a counsel rather than somebody actually sitting down and and, <laughs> and instantly catching you and rebuking you over it coming up. Cause a lot all the stuff gonna end up. It's gonna come to light eventually, you know what I'm saying? Uh, keep going on that. How good is it when thou art reproved? To show repentance, uh -huh. for so shall thou escape willful sin. Willful sin. Willful sin. Uh, so we got to understand the value. It's value in the reproof. It's value in the correction. It's like I said, man. You need to slow the class down. I ain't. I didn't. I ain't. I ain't gonna take it in my feelings about it. Like you know, what I'm saying you need to slow the class down. That's that's just correction. You gotta slow the class down. You know what I'm saying? Art telling me I need to get to the. I need to get to the scriptures a little faster. I ain't gonna take it. I ain't gonna take it like you know what I'm saying that I don't need to get to the. I know I need to get to the scriptures faster. You know what I'm saying, and so that's why you gotta evaluate yourself. 
You gotta evaluate yourself. That's why you can take them notes. If you had to go to that index, had to go to the index while you scribing to find the chapter, you need to mark that down, mental note, so you can get yourself better. You know what I'm saying? And confess that you know what I'm saying, that you ain't really meditating on that word like you need to be meditating on. So you can get that counsel. So so we can set up something. Well, maybe maybe we can call you and we can, I can show you some of the stuff I'm going over when I'm going through the lessons. You know what I'm saying? If you need help with that. But if you're sitting back, then brother's going to be like, man, you know what I'm saying? Then you grabbing the mic. You grabbing the mic and then you don't know where the precepts are. You don't know the scriptures are. Brother's going to be, you know what I'm saying? It's got to be some correction in that. All right. Open rebuke. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 20. Sometimes you got to add up. Sometimes it's a, it's a good to add, especially camp, especially the little camp, even if it's not sin necessarily, but you know what I'm saying, just keeping things in decently in order. Sometimes it is, sometimes it is a, a, a good to air it out. Sometimes it's good for other people to hear it. So it'd be like, you know what, I don't, I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want that to, I don't want that to happen. The book of First Timothy. Chapter 5, verse 20. Verse 20. Them that sin rebuke before all, uh -huh. that others also may fear. All right. Them that sin rebuke before all, that others may fear. These are situational. These are situations, man. So I don't want you taking the First Timothy 5.20 and, and, and combating it against the Matthew 15. I meant the Matthew 18.15. You know what I'm saying? It's all about it's about certain situations. You know what I'm saying? Certain, certain, certain rebuke needs to be aired out. So other people can actually know, you know what I'm saying? Just in case they were thinking it in their mind. Because people will see it. You'll see certain brothers doing something and then, you know what I'm saying, that spirit to jump on you, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm doing it too, man. You know? Then uh, the jump on another brother and then jump on another brother and then for we all we all like that. Spirit that jumped on us all, you know what I'm saying? So some 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 rebuke, some correction gotta be open there. So everybody can hit it just in case it was building up in them to do it, they can catch it too. Uh, Proverbs chapter 27, verse 5. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 5. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Uh -huh. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, uh -huh. but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. So that open rebuke is better than secret love, man. Don't just be holding on. If it's bothering you the way he's doing it, if it's bothering you the way she's doing it, let him know. Air it out instead of just being next to it and it bothering you. Instead of you being next to him and he's scribing for you, and you know you don't like this person particularly scribing for you, <laughs> because, you know what I'm saying? Air it out. Go ahead and talk, pull the brother to the side. Maybe y'all can build together. Maybe some 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 will come out of that. Well, y'all will say, you know what, man? Every Monday, seven o'clock, we get together, man. We just gonna do some drills. We just gonna do some some drills real quick. You know what I'm saying? So if that happens, go ahead and just air that out, man. And, and talk, don't be holding it in and sitting up there with the mic like, man, bro. it's in the back. First John, man, you know, don't do, don't, don't, <laughs> don't let it build up to that point. Don't let it build up to that point, man. Cause we all supposed to, and see, that's where the, you know what I'm saying? The correction got to come from. That's why we got to build with each other. So we don't let those situations actually happen where you're not being secretly mad. Or secretly frustrated. Huh? You had a precept? Okay, bring it up. As coals, sorry. As coals are burning coals and wood for fire, so is a so is a contentious man to kindle strike. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Just letting that thing just boil up and heat up. You know what I'm saying? That fire get bigger and bigger and bigger and then it become an outburst at camp. You know what I'm saying? So, go ahead and deal with those things, man. Those wounds from a friend, that little quick cut from your partner, from your homie. And that's why you got to be friends. That's why you got to build up the relationships. You can't just, you can't be friends if we just meet in that camp. You know what I'm saying? We doing a little four hour together. So that's why the, the, a wound from a friend, you know what I'm saying, is a faithful wound. You know he ain't going nowhere. We gonna be cutting each other. We gonna be, I've been knowing Ox since, Second grade, you know what I'm saying. Since second grade, we don't argue. We don't. We don't. We don't start to do, try to fight a couple of times, but we ain't never really. You know what I'm saying. But even even so, I knew. Even if we did fight, we could go back that next day. 
You know what I'm saying? We can go back that we we can go back that next day. We'll be friends. You know what I'm saying? That's why, and, that, and that's that humility as a child. That's why you got to come. You know what I'm saying? Injury team, you got to come as a child because children have the humility to take a chin check and then be friends in that day. You know what I'm saying? They don't have that pride with them. We'll hold on, but as adults, we'll end up holding on to that and be like, Nah, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna. That joker, that joker still owes me five dollars. I can't make it. Uh, this, this, the, this, the, this, the, this the equation, man, for the scorner, man. This the scorner equation. All right, when you trying to recruit somebody on the, you know, what I'm saying, recruit is not, recruit not a scorner. This is how you turn a scorner into somebody wise. This is your x plus y equals z, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading, like I'm like, <laughs> the, it's the third. You didn't say that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I meant to put that the up. Scorner the equation. scorner equation. <laughs> yeah, put a little, little you bonus, put a little southern, southern draw on it. Uh, Proverbs chapter 9, verse 8. For the Proverbs chapter 9, verse 8, who not a scorner, let's see, take, let's see, hate thee. Let's see, hate thee, come on. You can wise men and you will have and you will love thee. And you rebuke a wise man, and he gonna love you. All right. So how do we get the scorner to become a wise man? Because we're not supposed to reprove the scorner. Sometimes you, you know, what I'm saying, you go out there and you trying to cut somebody, you trying to give them that information, you trying to correct them, and they not taking the correction. You know what I'm saying? They're not taking the correction, so you just wasting your energy, wasting your time. How do you get a scorner to become a wise man? All right. Proverbs chapter twenty-one, verse eleven. Proverbs twenty-one and eleven. When the scorner is punished. When the scorner is what? When the scorner is punished. When the scorner is punished. The simple is made wise. The simple is made wise. So that punishment brings that that scorner got to go through something else. You know what I'm saying? I know I see me at camp too. I told some. I give them a couple precepts, give them a couple, and then they just they just bounce the stuff back. And I know they know the scriptures. I be like, oh man, you just ain't went through enough yet. You just you need to be punished a little more. I'm going to let you ride, though. I appreciate your time, brother. You know what I'm saying? This time. <laughs> but you just need to go through. You just need to go through a little something else. You know what I'm saying? You know, Moha just need to put that whooping on you a little more. Because you do know. And you know what you're supposed to be doing. And you're not doing it. You just got to get whooped a little more. But I'm doing out here ain't going to help you. You need that stick. You need that whooping stick from the Moha. Um, come on, keep going. And when the wise is instructed, he receives knowledge. And when the wise is instructed, he'll receive the knowledge. So, but the scorner got to be punished, man. The simple got to be made wise from the punishment. Um, and this, this countless precepts on the punishment. Y'all want to write these down? Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah uh, sixty-six ten, Isaiah forty-eight ten, uh, Revelations three nineteen, Hebrews chapter twelve verse six. Proverbs 3.11 um, 2 Timothy 2 and 3 And do hardness like a good soldier But it's countless It's countless precepts, huh? 16 and Isaiah 16, Isaiah 16 48.10 Revelation 3.19 Proverbs 3.11 Hebrew 12.6 2 Timothy 2 and 3 all them, all those scriptures dealing with pretty much dealing with the affliction, man. The afflictions are the blessings, you know what I'm saying? So they're dealing with the afflictions and dealing with and, and Proverbs 13, 24. I think I got that in here about you know what I'm saying, spare the rod, spoil the child. And then if you want to go to Sirach chapter 30, that tells you about just about the building up, you know what I'm saying? How a child got to be raised up, you know what I'm saying? And, and you gotta you gotta be you gotta have that rod on, you gotta have that stick on. Um. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. So, so with the punishment comes the fear. Through the punishment brings the fear. Once you uh, once you attribute the punishment that you get in, that's coming from the most high. Because sometimes we, we'll get the punishment and we start trying to attribute to other things. Like, you know, what's it, you're just having a bad day, just having a bad week, just having a bad month. You know what I'm saying? Certain things just start trickling off, trickling off, trickling off. And we don't attribute to the most high actually whooping us for our disobedience. You know what I'm saying? Or it could be a trial. Or it could be a test. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be able to uh, discern that. But when you when you start attributing those things to that, 
you end up you end up building fear. Sometimes I see stuff happening to other people that make me scared. Like, oh, right. I'm glad I ain't in that storm. Man, that more high putting that putting that power. You know what I'm saying? I've been there. I already know that whoop, you know what I'm saying? So now I'll be so scared, I just jump in it. Once it just starts going, I just go ahead and take off. I just go and jump on it. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you gotta do me like that. You don't want me to have it. No, I let it go. I'm gone. I just go and jump, I just go and jump off and regather myself, man. So for the bounce back, you know what I'm saying? I don't let it trangle on too long because I done, I done been in so many instances where I done tried to hold on to certain things that the Mohai was trying to peel away from me. I was trying to hold on to him, bleed, to hold on to it, and then the bounce back, I don't have no resources left for the bounce back. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes now I just, once I see that thing pulling away, one or two fingers start letting go, I go ahead and let it up, get up off of it. You know what I'm saying? I can go ahead and jump off the cliff, start it over. I still got some resources to get myself back to get, you know what I'm saying? So you start contributing those things to the most high that you'll build up that fear. And the fear is the what? The fear of the Lord. It's the, uh, it's the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Come on. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So that wise man, before he can get that wisdom, he got to build that fear. And that fear is going to come from that, that, that punishment. All right, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. The Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. Just say, just let him get the... Uh, just say, come when y'all done. The book of Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 Wisdom is the principal thing Therefore get wisdom And with all thy getting get, Gettings Get understanding Alright so wisdom is the, is the principal thing With all thy getting get understanding Go ahead to the Job uh, 28 28 You know that wisdom is the beginning But that wisdom comes from that fear And that fear comes from that punishment so, so for that scorner to actually be able to get reproved, you got to be punished. So sometimes you can give them a couple cuts, give them a couple precepts. If they just throwing them back and they just bouncing off, you see, you see them just bouncing off of them, just go ahead and let them go because they got to they gotta be punished. Sometimes they just got to be punished. You know what I'm saying? Who we doing? Joe 28, 28? Just say come on, y'all there. With the Job chapter 48, verse 48. And it's a man, he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. Uh -huh. And to depart from evil is understanding. And to depart from evil is understanding. So that fear of the Lord, that's wisdom. You get that wisdom, you're going to be able to be instructed. Uh, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 10. Proverbs 17 and 10. Just say, Come when y'all there. Verse 17 and 10. A reproof entereth more in a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. So when, when a wise man can take that reproof without being punished. You don't have to be punished. Because he already got he already got punished to build up the fear. To 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 build up the, the wisdom. You see what I'm saying? That's why, you know, a lot of, you know, uh, you, you contribute a lot of elder people to being being wise because they done been through so much. That's why kids be trying to fool their parents or we, when we were kids trying to fool our parents and thinking our parents ain't been through nothing, like thinking they just some lame Joes and they wasn't dead and we can get back. Nah, man, they done been through it. They, they wise and did not do those things because they already done did them. They already done went through it. You know what I'm saying? So, and now we say always there's, there's two ways to learn, man, instruction and experience. If you can't expand, if you can't, if they can't get the instruction, they not wise enough to get the instruction. They got to experience it. So they can build up that fear so they can get the wisdom. Uh, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 13, 1. Then we'll drop down to the fold, just, just dealing with the kids. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 1. A wise son heareth his father's instructions, but a scorner hear him not rebuke. But a, but a scorner hear him not rebuke. A wise son, he gonna hear his father's instructions. You know what I'm saying? But a but a scorner, he not gonna hear it. So he gotta get punished. And the bedtime, the best time for a child to listen is when they get whooped. 
that, that's when their ears are totally tuned. That's why their mama be and their daddy be talking to them while they whooping them. Because they answer every question. Yes, no, not going to do it no more. I know you told me. I said, I'm sorry. Look, 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 every lick. That's that's when, that's where they in tune the most. You know what I'm saying? When you getting punished. That's when we want to cry out. That's what the Hosea 515. They'll seek me in their afflictions. So that's, you know what I'm saying, the punishment sometimes, you know what I'm saying, if they're a spawner, they got to go through it. They got to get punished. All right. Uh, drop down to the 24. 24. He that spirit his rod hated his son. He hated his son because he don't want his son to be wise. But he that loveth him chasteneth him be times. And he that loveth him, he gonna, every, time that, every time that correction is needed, he going to get that correction. Don't be out here just dragging your kids, but you know when the correction is needed, that correction gonna be given. Psalms chapter one forty one verse five. Sorry, it's another way now. I don't recommend this. You know what I'm saying? But you know you can you can give a righteous or righteously. I, I, honestly, I don't know what this is really honestly, but um, we can dissect it. Keep going. Go ahead, uh, Isaiah. Y'all say calm when y'all done. Psalm 141. And this is a suggestion, you know what I'm saying, David actually bring it out. I don't want to buy it against it in this, in this, in this day and age. Like I say, because our chin's weak. Verse 5. Let the righteous smite me. He said, let the righteous smite me. It shall be a kindness. <laughs> it shall be a kindness. Come on. And let him reprove me. And, and get to reproof. Come on. And it shall be excellent, an excellent oil. And it's going to be an excellent oil. Come on. It shall not break my head. Mm -hmm. For yet my prayer also shall be in their calamities. Uh, so, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. Slap. I say that, nah, nah, man. Slap. You know what I'm saying? I don't Sound know. Like he jumped in. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what a righteous smite is, man. But you know, I don't want y'all putting y'all hands on the fucker. <laughs> he joking, can't check. AK take the verbal. You know he finna take no. You know what I'm saying? But uh, <laughs> but the reproof, man. That's what we dealing with, man. The reproof. It's an excellent oil, man. It's an excellent oil. And a lot of times, man, we're going to have to get that oil replenished. Just like the the twin virgins that were waiting with their lamps, man, that waiting, we, we we lose some of our oil, man. We lose some of our oil. So sometimes brothers got to shake brothers up out of it, man, to get they, get they oil replenished. Like, right, you, you know what I'm saying? You slacking. You know what I'm saying? You slacking, bro. You ain't in them script like you usually be. You ain't then if them bring it out, saying what they used to be, what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes brother be getting drained, man. You be losing your oil. Especially in them hundred degrees out there. You, that oil get get deplenished. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta make sure you refilling that oil for reproof. A ratchet smite. No, nah, I'm just saying, but a reproof will definitely get that. <laughs> definitely get your oil, man. Get your oil back going. Uh Proverbs chapter twenty seven, verse six. Proverbs twenty seven verse six. Let them get there. I know it's the first week. It's the first week we doing it. We get together. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come when they get there. Proverbs 27 and 6. Proverbs 27 and 6. Think for the wounds of a friend, uh -huh. but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. It said, Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy. So we might be hating that righteous smite, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful, man. You know what I'm saying? You had brothers hugging you and dapping you up and doing that, doing you, giving you that salute. And they really just, they really, they really slick hate you. Yep. Rich slick doing stuff behind your back to, 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 to tear you down. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You want you want that open rebuke. You want to know exactly who you are. And that's why, again, too, man, building up, <clears throat> building up the personal relationships with each other, man, so we can know the times and, and, and know brothers' personalities on how to how to deal with certain brothers because you know what i'm saying you just you can look at a brother and, and yeah you think you know you don't really know him you know what i'm saying you ain't gonna really know him until y'all you get that that brotherhood and y'all get around each other all right the sons of thunder the sons of thunder get rebuked man y'all didn't know this was this was uh brother y'all got his name from uh luke chapter 9 verse 51 let me say come y'all Uh, 
Book of Luke, chapter okay. 9, verse 51. And it came to pass, when the time was come that he, sh he shall be received up, he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and sent his messengers before his face, and they went and entered to the village of the Samaritans. So he pretty much sent the wrong promoters because. At this point, where he was, everywhere he was going, it was a large gathering. So you want to send the promoters out, get everything situated, get everything straight. You know what I'm saying? Before you go out there, all right. So he sent, he sent, he sent uh, James and John out there first. Once he set his face towards Jerusalem, go back to Jerusalem. Come on. To make ready for him, uh -huh. they did not receive him because his face was was as though he would go to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And when his disciples James and John saw this, they said, Lord, without without that that we command fire to come down from heaven. He said, without that we command fire to come down from heaven and what? And consumed them even as Elias did. So when James and John went out there to get the um to, you know, he go out there to promote, you know, that your house gonna actually come into to Samaria to the Samaritans, they didn't accept them. So then James and John got in their feelings. It was like, man, hey, you want us to bring, you know, you want us to bring some fire down on them, just kill them all? Like Isaiah, like Isaiah did, or Elijah, Elias did. You want us to do that? You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just go ahead and just wipe them out. What did y'all just say? But he turned and rebuked them and said, ye know not what manner of spirit you are of. Uh -huh. For the Son of Man is and see, it's, ca it's easy to ca It's easy to casually read that. You know not what a spirit you are, but they just ask, can they rain down for fire and kill everybody? <laughs> Basically, you know what I'm saying? They would abuse their power. You know what I'm saying? If they had the power to do it, and they didn't have to, and they didn't have to ask, they probably would have did. You know what I'm saying? Just because they didn't receive, you know what I'm saying, uh, Jesus or the Christ. So that rebuke is easily to casually read over and say, man, you know not what a spirit you are. But, you know what I'm saying, when it's something that drastic where it, it involves you should to kill hundreds of people because they didn't receive, you know what I'm saying, it was a hard check. It was a hard check. He rebuked him and said, you know not what spirit of, that, what manner of spirit ye are of. You don't know the kind of spirit that you're dealing with. You don't know the kind of spirit that's supposed to be dwelling in you. You don't know, you, you don't really know who I am. You don't even know what I came here for. And then you've been walking with me, you don't even know what, like, what you know what I'm saying? You don't even know what, what I came here for. You don't even know who I am, really. Honestly. If you think I'll go out here and let y'all kill a whole city of people. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. Verse 56. For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, uh -huh. but to save them. Uh -huh. And they went to another village. And they went to another village, man. So, you know what I'm saying? We know, we know you how shy. It was a, a steer man, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of times where they didn't even want to ask him questions because of the cuts that were coming out, you know what I'm saying? Because of the rebuke that was coming out, because of, you know what I'm saying, how, you know, how stern he was speaking to him. All right, let no man despise thee, I think. We about two more, about three more precepts. Uh, Titus chapter 2, verse 15. Matter of fact, somebody uh, Google that word despise. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 15. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Uh -huh. Let no man despise thee. Let no man despise thee. Alright? Exhort, rebuke with all authority. Man. Don't let nobody tell you you ain't got it. You ain't, like with all authority, go out here and rebuke, man. Um, did you got that? Did you look up that word despise? Yeah. What's the definition? Feel contempt or deep repug repugnance for it. Some synonyms. Hate, loaf, abhor, abominate, dislike, to rebel, not able to bear, to find intolerable. All right, so don't, pretty much don't let nobody talk you out of it, saying that you ain't qualified, that you ain't, you shouldn't be doing that, you ain't been here long enough, you ain't, the, you know what I'm saying, you send the correction. If I'm out of order, man, send the correction. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
it just is what it is, man. But you gotta make sure you ain't no hypocrite. But you got to you got to be my I, I got a pretty good chin. I don't worked on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I have pretty I got a pretty good chin, man, so you know, I can definitely I can definitely take it, but yeah, don't be no hypocrite. But uh first Timothy chapter four verse twelve. First Timothy twelve. Twelve twelve. Let them say calling is there. Verse 17, 4 and 12. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thy an example of the believers in word and conversation and charity and spirit and faith. Impurity. Man, you know what I'm saying. So don't don't let nobody despise that youth, man. If you you know you may be younger than a brother, you may be younger than one of the elders, but it's a correction needed, man. You know what I'm saying. Speak on. It. You may not have been in the truth as long as the elder, but it's a correction needed. Go ahead and speak on. It. You know what I'm saying. Um. It's the last precept, Luke chapter 17, verse one, and just talking about the um about the forgiving your brother. The Luke chapter 17 and verse 1. Then said, then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible, but, but thou offenses will come, but woe unto him through whom they come. Mm -hmm. For it were, it were better for him that a milestone were hung about his neck, and he, he and he cast it to the sea, than that he sound you should offend one of these little ones. So we gotta understand too, man, that offenses gonna come, we're gonna offend each other sometime. It's just inevitable. It's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know what I'm saying. We don't let that. We don't. We don't let that break our bondage. You know what I'm saying? Those things gonna happen, man. You gotta shake those things off and be able to apologize and be able to repent. Know that you in the wrong. Know that you shouldn't have said it or whatever the trespass might have been. You know what I'm saying? You repent, turn away from that because uh, it says, "Whoa, it say destruction. It say destruction unto those who who bring those through whom those offenses come through." You know what I'm saying? So you bring, you put that stumbling block in front of a brother, or you put that stumbling block in front of a sister. It says, whoa, it's a destruction unto those, you know what I'm saying, those people. That is better than a millstone hung around your neck. You know what I'm saying? Um, verse 3, and that's why you got to what? Take heed to yourselves. Take heed to yourselves, man. If thy brother trespass against thee, mm -hmm. rebuke him. Uh -huh. And if he repent, forgive him. And if he repents, forgive him, man. And it's gonna take some humility. It's gonna take some. It's gonna take. You know what I'm saying? You gotta swallow that. To swallow that, take it. It take a lot to swallow that. Keep going. But if he transgress against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, "I repent," thou shalt forgive him. Thou shalt forgive him. And what the apostles? Say? And the apostles said it to the Lord, "Increase our faith." Increase our faith, man. So, like they said, the apostles. They know that that's a, a huge task, you know what I'm saying? It's something that, you know, we, we got to work on. And it might be, a, 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 you know what I'm saying, something that we never get down. It's just something we always got to build on. We always got to strengthen our chin. <clears throat> to take the rebuke, we always got to strengthen our chin to swallow down, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, when other brothers trespass against us, man, and then repent. So um, with that, I'm going to say shout out to Juan. Anybody got no questions?